girls, we'll let the coach start first, okay? Thank you. Okay, coach, if you'd like to give a statement. Uh, yeah, um, just a incredibly disappointing um, uh, game for our team. We just feel disappointed for a lot of reasons. Number one, um, we felt like we uh, are better than what we showed in the NCAA tournament. I think we're disappointed that um, uh, that we lost and we didn't advance. We came down here expecting to win and find ways to advance in this tournament, but uh, mostly disappointed just because um, it's over. And this has been an incredibly special team that I have just absolutely loved every second of the opportunity to coach. And um, so uh, my heart is broken that uh, this, this season and this team um, are, are done. Okay, questions from the floor? Yeah, Amy, you know, the, uh, it was close there at halftime and uh, third quarter that obviously was a big difference for them. What, uh, what did you see in the third quarter that was a big difference for Gonzaga? Yeah, um, I really thought that they um, just did a great job of attacking the paint, getting points in the paint, some of those off offensive rebounds and, and putbacks. And um, they they did a good job also of, um, with their pressure, kind of just changing up things where we were um, not as able to play with the pace that we wanted to offensively and, and kind of just had us a little choppy on offense. Uh, rebounding was obviously a big topic going in. How how did you feel like the rebounding went? Yeah, um, I'm disappointed. You know, we felt like that was going to be the game within the game. We know Gonzaga out rebounds their imp opponents by ten on average um, for the season, so we knew that was going to be a very tall task. But uh, for our team to get out rebounded by seven boards and um, to give up. Uh, 14 second chance points to only three um, for ourselves. I thought that was a really big difference in the game, and and also, you know, we want to always dominate the paint, and um, and you know, the paint points were 32 to 18 in favor of Gonzaga. I think um, a lot of those things are dependent on rebounding, and probably pretty telltale for why we didn't come out on the other side. What, just what impressed you about Gonzaga and their athletes and how they executed in this game? Yeah, I mean, the thing that uh, impressed me the most, most about this team is kind of what we came in knowing was going to be an advantage for them was just um, they have a lot of players that have a great experience, four seniors and a junior in their starting lineup and uh, players that have a lot of NCAA tournament experience. And um, I've been in coaching long enough to really value um, experience and what that can do for you and just the poise uh, that you need in pressure situations. I thought um, it was a very physical game out there today and I thought they really were composed through that and, and stayed um, uh, pretty composed and I think that's um, a, a credit to the experience that they have. In what, uh, in what ways do you hope this season changes the, the Nebraska program? Yeah, I can tell you that there are a lot of uh, um, hurt hearts kind of in that locker room. And I think um, the expectations that um, uh, our program now has moving forward to uh, to be playing in this tournament and to win in this tournament, um, uh, they've been cemented. And uh, just a huge credit to our upperclassmen, um, players like uh, Sam Hybe, who've come here and for four years have poured their blood, sweat, and tears into this program to get us uh, into the NCAA tournament. And now um, uh, it would be an absolute shame if we didn't find a way to just continue to build on that and, and raise the expectations even higher uh, based on all of the things that they've done for our program. Do you, do you feel like next season will be a big extension of this year with the potential for a large group of people to be back? Yeah, I mean, I think it really can be. I think, um, you know, I told our team in the locker room after this game is to just bottle up that, just that, um, uh, that 
pain that they're feeling, that um, that yucky kind of just feeling in your gut and just bottle that up and let's use that to uh, fuel our fire as we continue to build for the future and, and uh, most certainly uh, think that the future is bright for Nebraska women's basketball. We have a lot of um, incredibly talented young players coming back that are going to learn from this experience and continue to find ways to improve and help our program get better. But you made the uh, uh, point, and they, their players made it, they made it very tough on you uh, defensively. Did you just weren't able to run your offense to your liking? And they did they push you out? Did they they do anything in particular that disrupted you? Yeah, I mean, I thought um, they were incredibly physical, and the game got very physical. And I thought then for a little while we were just uh, kind of rushing shots, expecting to get fouled, and um, not just kind of slowing down and taking our time and finishing shots that we normally um, finish. But um, uh, definitely the the press that they ran kind of took us a little bit out of our pace, and um, and we were not in the same attack mode that we wanted to to be in. But um, I. I really felt like it was just something where um, it was a physical ball game and uh, and we we needed to adjust a little quicker than we did. Other questions from the floor? Okay, coach, thank you. Thanks. Ladies, come on up. questions for the student athletes. Sam, just overall, how do you feel like Nebraska played in this game? Um, we're definitely disappointed. Uh, we didn't play a complete 40 minutes. That's what you need to do when you come to the tournament uh, in order to win games. But yeah, I think just disappointment. Lexus, just what was it like inside in this game, uh, both rebounding and, and trying to score? Yeah, it was a pretty physical game down there. Um, I think if we had limited um, their uh, offensive rebounding that we would have uh, came up on top today. And um, we really let that physicalness of the game get to us. What's, what stands out about how they rebound? I mean, obviously, you, you talked about it. And it was you saw the stats. And you saw it on tape. But what, when you experience it, what do you think of Gonzaga's success rebounding? Yeah, we knew like they out-rebound their opponents by 10. and. Um, we wanted to out rebound them, and if we knew we knew if we did that, that we'd probably come up on top, and um, we didn't. And um, I hope that we all learn from this and remember this feeling, because um, we don't want to feel like this again. Sam, would you like to respond? Yeah, um, it's one thing to like see those stats and know it, but then you got to go out there and um, compete. Rebounding's a lot of heart, and I think at times they just wanted it more. They were super physical. We knew that going in, so I think we just need to take that into consideration and then have all five of us um, want to rebound. Sam, uh, I guess, what did they, what did Gonzaga do to impact the most? What what type of shots you would have, you guys would have liked to get in this game? Yeah, I think their press was what kind of set us off the most, just slowed us down. Um, we like to play with a lot of pace. Um, but I think they did a really good job of just slowing us down just enough to be able to take us out of rhythm and take us out of the shots that we wanted to get in the paint. Sam, and this is this is just one game. It was a long season, Sam. But uh, I guess what you're going to have to think about this game for a while. How do you think this game uh, improves this team going forward? Um, yeah, it's definitely not just this one game that proves that what we're capable of. Um, I think we had a really good season. Um, it didn't end the way that we wanted to, but just the fight that we've showed throughout all the games we've played this year, starting in November, uh, shows what this team is really capable of. Sam, do you think you'll be on this team next season? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I have some things to think about. Uh, I need to rest up. I got to heal up, too, so we'll see. <clears throat> Alexis, what? Uh Going forward for you, uh, obviously a great freshman season, but what do you need to do personally and with this team to take the next step? Uh, I need to do a lot of things to get better. Um, I just everything personally, I just I want to be more dominant than I am, and I 
I want to be really good, and I know I got to put in the work in this off season if I want to do the things I want to do. Have any other questions? Four. Ladies, thank you very much. Thanks.